Katie, and this is Katie Plays Stuff, where I play stuff for you. So today we're going to play an indie game called Finger Bones. Not quite sure what this game is, but as you know, I am known to play some pretty weird games. So hopefully this one is just as weird as the last one I played. And uh, let's see what it's about. Wow. Ooh. Smooth. Good. All right, so, whoa. Okay, so to exit the game, you go back out this way. Um, <laughs> I honestly have no idea what this game is about, so... Oh, okay, I found a note. When I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt that same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar. What am I playing? <laughs> Why do I get myself into this stuff? Okay, no notes over here. What? <laughs> I always play the, like, weirdest games ever. Okay. It's my weekend to get Katie. Katie? It's me? It's my weekend to get Katie, but I'm really not in the mood. I distracted her with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than the useful hand of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and the divorce certainly didn't help. Because I'm not depressed, I'm enlightened. This is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Okay, so I'm guessing Katie is our character's daughter, um, and our character is divorced. But where are we is the question. We're like in some freaking. I don't even know where the hell we are. This is very weird. Uh, what's this? Okay, I don't know what that is. I can't click on it. Can I open, like, drawers and stuff? No. Uh, it appears to be a page from a manuscript. Pop morality is too reliant on emotions and not reliant enough on that rational thought. If morality must be determined, and I maintain that is a farce, it should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, subjective, and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking the actions of the natural creature are natural, and thus moral, unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove them as immoral. Okay, so the actions of a natural creature are moral unless there's a scientific reason for them not to be. What does that have to do with this game? Okay. What's, what is that? A flashlight? It's bright in here. Why would I need this? Hmm. I can't run. I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy, I suppose. She's like her mother, a delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. Okay, so Katie is a password for something. For what? I'm not sure, since I don't know what else is in this room. There's like nothing in here. What? It's like, this is like a woodworking place or some kind of, I don't know. What is that? What did I just do? I have no idea what I just turned on. There's another door over here. I can't go through it. What the heck did I just turn on? What is that? Is there anything to turn on over here that... I don't understand. Okay, wait. Maybe it's this thing. There's a red light now. Oh, okay. Katie. Did it work? At all? A little faster, guy. Okay, it did work. That noise... I don't know about this. Oh my god. This is creepy. There's another note. What is this place? It's finally happened. The whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams, and when the ashes settle, we will all be wild animals again. I'm ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days, and she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it started, and I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran the, to the bunker. 
Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom from all the irrational rules and insane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. Okay, so something- this is a bunker, I guess. And our character and his daughter Katie are inside this bunker and Lynn must be the mom. But she's probably dead because everybody in the town is dead. I don't know what's going on, but that's crazy. Okay, that's like a hatch I can't get into. And I can't get in here either. What the heck? What the heck do I do? There's nothing down here? Is she down here? Is Katie down there? Katie, I'm coming for you! Oh, there's another note. I boxed up everything that isn't practical and useful. I burned all the books that weren't for scientific edu edification. I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just piled them up near the hatch. The blood would probably ruin them anyway. What? Wait, what? I boxed up everything that isn't practical. I burned all the books. Uh, I can't get them down the ladder. Okay, down the hatch ladder. I piled up next to the hatch. The blood would ruin them? What blood? Katie? Hello, help me! I want to help you, I just don't know how! What? Wait a second, what if we're not the dad? What if we are like... Jeez, that's loud. What if we're not the dad? What if we are just like a survivor of this coming into this and then we gotta like fight the dad or something? That would be crazy. Okay, so I just learned that one of the passwords is Lynn. Um, because I tried typing a bunch of stuff into the keyboard and nothing was working. Like every time I typed random things, no sound was made. I don't like this. <laughs> no sound was made, but then the second I type Lynn, a sound like the uh, noise happened. So let's try and see if we open the door or the hatch maybe. I freaking did it! Oh, I can't do this. This is creepy. Hello? Uh, what? It's like a... I don't know, woodworking place? Another note. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures, and we're barely able to find enough food to survive. I turned her crayons into candles. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again, and it helps break up the monotony. I yearn for the excitement of those first weeks. The excitement of the first weeks? What, are you happy that we're in here? Poor girl, got her freaking crayons taken away. Another one. There are things I've wanted to do for years, desires I've kept locked in the back of my consciousness. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman, and now I realize there's no practical reason to keep those desires locked up anymore. <gasps> no. I hope, I hope that doesn't mean what I think it means. I really hope that mean, doesn't mean what I think it means. Hold on, let's check over here. I changed the storage room code to something I can easily remember. N N Y. The rest of the word is missing. N N Y. I have no idea. Uh, of course I can't get in here. Now I have to figure out another password. What could it be? It ends in N N Y. I have no idea. It was Lynn backwards. How am I doing this right now? Lynn backwards. N-N-Y-L. Because it was so much like Lynn, that's where I got it from. I'm coming for you, Katie. I'ma save you. Don't you worry. Let me just go in here real quick. Alright. And nothing but a note. 
I am a bag of DNA, and I exist to make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because my genes demand reproduction. I wrote books and created because creativity served a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it, and spent hours thinking up silly little artificial laws to live by. Because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce to protect their genes. Dreams, loves, opinions, desires, beauty, innocence. Figments of our collective primordial imagination. Fleeting electrical signs that fire across our synapses for a pointless moment in time. They used to serve a purpose, and now they are needless confusion. And here I am, the last man on earth for all I know, ready to be freed from them. What is, how did that even help me? That did like nothing. There's nothing even else in here. Wait, there's a button. I just found a freaking button. Is that for the hatch? Tell me it's for the hatch. Come on. What could that button have been for? Maybe it's the computer again. What's that noise? I don't know another password. This is annoying. Was this always here like that? <gasps> what is that? The cellar is freedom. What is that? I get it now. They're finger bones. <laughs> Those are like fi they they're fingers. Those are fingers. You can see the little joints on them and everything. Why are there finger bones in the wall? The cellar is freedom. Whose fingers are these? The cellar is freedom. Okay, so the hatch, the password's freedom. I freaking did it! We're in, we're in! There are flipping finger bones in the wall right now. Whoever we're gonna find down here does not have any fingers. I, I'm pretty sure of it. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. There's only enough food for one, so she's going to die anyway, and I'm free now. Freedom. It took the end of all humanity for me to find freedom. This guy is, like, so weird. He's, like, happy that his daughter's going to die and that the world is dying. Oh my god. I don't want to go in here. Jump scare in three, two... It seems to have been torn from a diary. She finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss. I threw her body into the woods. Her fingers, my anti-religious artifacts, my testaments to moral and intellectual freedom are locked in the safe upstairs. It's his daughter's fingers! I am content in the knowledge that I haven't done anything wrong. Oh my god, and there's blood all over the table. The father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years, starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time. With one last flicker, the flashlight died, and he was left in the pitch dark. He sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could still hear her, even now. It was peaceful here in the cellar. It was free here in the cellar. Okay. So from what I got out of that game is that there was some kind of apocalypse happening outside. This crazy ass man takes his daughter into a bunker to survive the apocalypse, ends up being down there for so long that he really goes crazy. I, from what I kind of get out of it, I think he raped her um, because he said he hadn't been with a woman in a really long time, so it seems like he raped her. Um, 
Then he cut off her fingers and she died from starvation or something. Or maybe he cut off her fingers after she died. And then he put them in his safe. And then our character was the father who did that and he came back after so many years to visit and then he just sat in the cellar and it was peaceful. What? Okay, well, that was strange. If you guys enjoyed watching me play that short little game, I have a playlist full of little indie games, little indie horror games, um, so if you want to see any more of those, I'll leave the link in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Kitty play stuff.